are you all doing? I wish you all a blessed Sunday. Yeah, this is um uh school and Sunday service today with Mommy Evelyn Joshua. Today she's talking about um the foolish people and the good people. That is the scenario that she was using today to talk about for people to stay away from foolish people because they don't give you good thing. Yeah. She's giving a scenario about a woman that has come to scorn before, telling um prophet that he doesn't have anywhere to stay. So let's listen. Yes, good morning and win today. Yeah, this is a video that I've uploaded long time ago during um scorn Sunday service with um mommy Evelyn Joshua. And on this video, she was talking about a lady who came to Skowan and is a married lady. And that one, when he, she came to Skowan, she was um, um, looking for something like anything like she will be talking things that you know that is not, I don't know. And she's a married woman and she was talking about that woman. And comparing to that woman that she was talking Concerning what is happening today, you will know exactly that it is the same woman. It is the same woman who is um, bringing this problem today with the, um, the, in the internet with the fellow disciples. She is the one that was pushing all this thing about Prophet T.B. Joshua on, um, on the internet. So, I've posted this video before, but concerning what is happening today, I say let me um, repost this video again for you guys to listen to what mommy Evelyn Joshua has to say about this woman, because she knows this woman very well. Yeah, she knows her very well and what she did, and what she did. And what she has been doing when she was um, in the school one. Yeah. So I'll play the video again. And then uh, repost it again for you guys to listen to what mommy has to say. Yeah. So listen. Mm -hmm. People blaming people. For their problems. They never have self-reflection over anything. I once come across somebody and she began to tell me she has been to every place there is no pastor she doesn't know there is no church she has not been to and she don't just go to these churches she will know the pastor she will know the wife she will know the children she will know their teaching everything happening in that house she knows I am like what are you looking for what are you really really looking for Then I'm watching as the book comes in. 
And a woman. I call her a woman. Because before she came to the synagogue, she was married. I don't know what happened to her marriage. Maybe she was divorced or whatever. I don't know. She was married. So she was a woman. And immediately she came and she knelt down. I am telling you this because I'm a witness. Please, sir, I am homeless. I don't have a place to stay. Fire and God for her house. And the prophet was like this. In fact, I can tell you the clothes you that day. You know those Ghanaian clothes that has Christ? That was the clothes he wore that day. And he was listening to this lady. I was there watching. After listening to her, he said, okay, go and wait for me outside. She went back. And then in the Tell me, she wants to make me a friend. I said, no, this one cannot be my friend.